I do believe the time has come to meet our next guest, Dr. Ian Johnston, engineer and inventor. You are very welcome to the loft, sir. Thank you very much. It's nice to be here. I believe you brought in some groovy experiments for us to try. Ye what have you got in mind today? I thought it was time to do some chemical engineering and some structural engineering. Oh, oh, boring. Boring. Hold boring. Boring. Oh, what was that? What's, what's, going on? what's that all what? about? I didn't understand what? a word of this what you just range. said. We're going to do chocolate. Chocolate. Ah, oh, very good. Now you're telling your language. Uh, in chocolate, oh. you think it's a food stuff. Food is things like apples. Apples grow. Chocolate is made in large factories. It's a chemical engineering product. And there's structural engineering concerns too. So I want to look at what they do to make some of the chocolate that we eat more interesting. Engineering chocolate. Tell us engineering more. Engineering chocolate. Well, chocolate manufacturers have to do things to make chocolate more interesting. Like what? They can add bits to it. They can add biscuit to it. They can add raisins to it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Or they can add air to it. Add and air. And they are particularly keen on adding air to chocolate for two reasons. One is air is really cheap. If you buy a Good chocolate point. bar full of air, they have to make less chocolate to oh. sell you. Mm. Another way of looking at it is if they fill a chocolate bar full of air, the same chocolate looks bigger. Oh. Both ways, you seem to be getting more of a bargain. Sounds so, underhanded to me. Yeah. Well, they market it on the basis that there's bubbles in it. Yeah. People like bubbles. I like bubbles. Bubbles People are like cool. bubbles. Well, let's, Tell us more about the bubbles. Let's in the look chocolate. at some bubbles and some chocolate. Okay. Here is a chocolate bar. Nice and hard on the outside. If we break it, Oh, the inside's full of bubbles. Yeah, well, you can see that. Yeah. Now, it's a bit hard to see the details of the bubbles. Okay. Yeah. But what I'm going to do is use this little microscope. Oh. oh. Yeah. So and let's you can use the microscope. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, you can see the bubble structure in here. Now, just compare that with this bit of foam. This is okay. a small bit of squidgy foam. If we look at that, it's a very similar structure. Does all this air on the inside of the chocolate not make the chocolate brittle or make the, ball, the, the bar fall apart? Well, that can be a problem, but maybe not as much as you think, because I've got a couple of bubbles here. What do you mean, bubbles? Okay. They, they, they appear to be eggs to me. I'm not a scientist, but... Look, don't be boring. Like just eggs. because you think bubbles have to have air in the inside and other stuff on the outside, these are inverted bubbles, right? Oh. These are bubbles bubbles with the air on the outside and the interesting gooey stuff at the inside. So, I would like to give you a bubble. Each, just hold it in the palm of your hand, will okay. you? Clasp okay. it in the palm of your hand. Yeah. In the palm of your hand, just curl your fingers around it. Don't worry, don't worry, this won't hurt much. Okay. Now just break them by squeezing. Go on, squeeze these eggs and break them. You're, oh no, I don't you're want both to. strong I'm Come genuinely on, I trying as hard as I can. Ah oh, no, this is so scary. Break the no. eggs. Come on, do it. Put them back into it. <laughs> Shockers. Uh, why can't we break these? Why you can't can... break them because they're arches all the way around. They're circular. The really amazing thing is, what can break an egg? What are eggs designed to be broken by? Um, the, the little critter inside the egg. A chicken. Bam. A brand new chicken, right? Yeah. So we have just proved scientifically that both of you are weaker than a brand new chicken. That's mad. Appreciate it. Thanks, Which, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for coming in. I, I thought you'd like that <laughs> idea. So what does this teach, teach us about the chocolate bars? Well, what it teaches about the chocolate bars is that all those little bubbles in the chocolate bars are actually extremely strong as long as you load them in the right way. The reason a chicken can break out an egg is that it's got a little sharp boot, an egg tooth, which you can hit against the thing and make a very localised break. If you did that to the, um, to the chocolate, it would fall to bits. Um, and that's why the, the flaky chocolates fall to bits, because the, the light bubbly bits of them are exposed. So in the chocolate, what they do is that they put a hard casing outside to spread the load out a bit more. I'd like to look at another chocolate, because I want to compare the mechanical structures of two. Now, so this, there's lots of different chocolate bars that have kind there's of bubbles lots of it. Other chocolate bars are available, and there are lots of yeah. different chocolate bars with different sizes of foam in them. And okay. if we look at this one, we should be able to see... The bubbles are the, the bigger, The bubbles. Yeah. Let's, let's just put the two of them side by side, shall we? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so on one of them, the bubbles are bigger than the other. Bubbles. Oh. There's a lot more chocolate in that one. The bubbles are about the same size, but the, yeah. the, the chocolate between them is thicker, right? Okay, so what does that mean, then? What this means, well, let's find out. What I'm going to do is give you... A, a one chocolate bar a light, for me. A lightweight one, and I'll give you a heavyweight okay. one. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is give them a hard... Wallop on no. the table. No. After three, not on three. So we're going to go okay. one, two, three, wallop. Okay. okay. Not one. that. One, two, three, wallop. Right. What's happened to the crunchy? Oh, this is kind of... Shattered. Come apart it's pretty here. Solid. It's pretty, yeah. And your whisk solid. solid. Mine's pretty mine's solid. broken right. up. So it's the, We've got a serious fracture here. And, and it's because got, of the size of the bubbles and the bubbles It's because the, bu the bubbles are smaller. Now, this has huh. actually got a close parallel in, in nature. These things are not entirely made by chemical engineering factories. The nearest thing to these in nature are in your legs. Oh, 
Oh. Your bones have exactly the structure. This Your bones incredible. have a hard outside and they've got a soft, foamy inside. Dr. Ian Johnson, thank you so much for coming in. Is there a website we can go to find out anything more about this? No, but come and see my show Zoom, touring Ireland over the summer. Ah, all right. Okay.